So what is the magical ingredient in the tablets? It's not a drug. It isn't a medicine. It's a natural substance found in some oily fish and in flax seeds, called omega-3. And it appears to have a simple but extraordinary effect on brains. Omega-3 may help us remember by making it easier for signals to jump the gaps between our brain cells. This helps our brain cells connect together, and we think that's the basis for good memory in all of us. A healthy diet should provide all the omega-3 we need to keep our memory oiled for maximum efficiency. Do I really have to eat this? It's good for you, try it. But with just one day before his big performance, it's okay. things still aren't going so well for Gwillem. How's the new piece you've been working on? Left hand's rubbish. I've been doing loads of work on it. And it's a lot of the pressure's on, and Gwillem is doing everything he can to improve his memory. But there's one shortcut he hasn't tried. Really got to practice to, to make sure they go right. Uh. Yeah, you can practice something over and over again, sort of thrash away at it, but sometimes you just have to give up because you're just clearly not getting any further with it. Over the last week, Gwillem's tried every trick in the book to boost his memory in time for the gig. He's taken ice cold showers. He's changed his diet. He's even been practicing in his sleep. Now it's his big day. But with his performance just hours away, he's still got his doubts. Could there be an instant fix? Popping pills to boost brain power is all the rage these days, and few places have as many to offer as California. Here, thousands hope to boost their memory with potions and pills, all promising inspiration. There are many stores that have shelves that are just groaning. They're loaded with substances that claim to boost memory. We got phenylalanine in separate form. We got the B vitamins of the AME. Uh, we've got the ginkgo biloba. Students buy these things by the ton. One of the ones uh, here is very colorful, has a human brain on it. Higher mind. Then we got, for the real um, discerning shopper, Mega Mind. Or the salesman buys it because he wants to be able to remember the names of the clients. If you only have a little bit of money and you want to get a little smarter, we got it. If you got a lot of money and you want to get real smart, we got it. You can buy anything. You can even buy a smarter brain in America. Come to Venice and get a smarter brain. Now, do any of these things work? Not very likely. Miguel has discovered several smart drugs that really do what they say on the label. The trouble is, they're only available for these little guys. Daily in the laboratory, we improve memory in laboratory animals, and this is done throughout the world. But none of these drugs that we use on a routine basis would be at all suitable for any human being to take because they have some very undesirable side effects, like seizures and maybe death. But so much research is going on, and it's so easy to do it in the animal laboratory that some company somewhere, biotech company, some pharmaceutical company, is gonna hit it one of these days.